Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of our series on narcissism and narcissistic abuse. Today we have a wonderful question that comes to us from one of our community members. Let me read this question to you. So they asked, I have heard that grandiosity is one of the characteristics of a narcissist. Could you provide some practical examples of how this trait might, might show itself in the everyday behavior of a narcissist? This is a great question and a very valid question. So thanks to the person who asked this. And so I have invited Cynthia Eddings, who is a psychotherapist and specializes in narcissistic abuse recovery to answer this question. If you are new here, or if you need a quick reminder, my name is Juliana Aiken, and I'm the founder of the Institute of Healing from Narcissistic Abuse. And I invite therapists onto this platform to address any questions, thoughts, or concerns you may have about topics related to narcissism and narcissistic abuse. Now, let's get started with the interview with Cynthia Eddings. The narcissistic behaviors are really, uh, they're like the bricks that hedge against the feeling of shame. So it's like a foundation or a, a barrier to that. And grandiosity is, you can think of like a peacock that, you know, has, puffs up their chest. And when they're there, you can't look at anything else. So, um what you'll see in grandiosity uh, behavior is monopolizing conversation um, as if, you know, everybody is completely interested in what the person with high narcissistic trait might be saying. Um, when you're in a conversation with a narcissist, you may feel like you're being talked at rather than being talked to because they, you know, everything they say to them feels like very important. Vanity is also a component of grandiosity, how they present, how they look, the kind of car they drive, the clothes they wear. Um, it also might show up in behaviors like, you know, somebody with high narcissistic traits walking into a restaurant where there's a line and the person at the host stand may say, you know, it's a 20 minute wait and a grandiose behavior would be, don't you know who I am? Like I'm entitled, like, give me the best table. I'm not going to wait. And they flip it around and, and they make the person feel like they're stupid or inferior for not welcoming them in. Like they're somebody really important. Um, so Another example would be something like um, you're in the car, the person with high narcissistic traits is driving, um, it's time to park, parking is, is hard, there's not a lot of availability, and as a passenger, you might say something like, oh, I have a really good idea, I know this place that usually has available parking. The response from somebody with a grandiose trait would get offended by that and inflamed and probably take it as a criticism and say something like, are you telling me that I can't drive or I don't know how to park? Like, who are you to tell me what to do? So those are some examples of how grandiosity shows up. As Cynthia Eddings explained in the interview, the grandiosity can manifest in so many different uh, ways. And as soon as I started to research narcissism and narcissistic traits and really understand how these traits show up in uh, everyday behavior of a narcissist, it became so much easier to spot a narcissist and narcissistic behaviors. And as a result, I have been better able to make more informed decisions about my relationships that promote my overall well-being and also people inside of our community um, they have been able to better able to protect themselves as soon as they really know like okay what does let's say the trait of grandiosity what does that really look like in in practice and in everyday behavior of a narcissist so and when we really understand these traits and how they show up in everyday behavior we can like i said better protect ourselves and maybe not get so confused when they you know, try to justify their behavior and minimize it, but then we can, you know, stay, have this clarity, okay, that's, that's a grandiose behavior, no matter how, how the narcissistic person might try to justify it otherwise. And, uh, 
yeah, it, it helps us to have this clarity and protect ourselves better. And in this way, we can support our well-being, you know, better. And um, but I know and I struggle, I have struggled this myself, that it can be really hard to spot these narcissistic traits and behaviors and it can be really hard to spot the narcissist. So we have created a free mini course for you about spotting a narcissist. So we really, in this mini course, we delve into what is a narcissist and we go through 19 different narcissistic traits and give practical examples how these traits manifest in everyday behavior. And if you want to get access to this mini course, I will provide a link in the video description so you can easily get access to it. That's all I wanted to say today. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next episode.